हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग येवला टुडे विल स्टडी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक दॅट इज फोर्स ऑर प्रेशर सेन्सर्स सो द स्टेन गेजेस आर वाईडली यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ फोर्स ऑर प्रेशर सो द टाईप्स ऑफ स्टेन गेजेस वील स्टडी द स्टेन गेज इज डिवायड इंटू टू टाईप्स वन इज वायर गेज अँड वन इज सेमी कंडक्टर गेजेस वायर गेजेस आर सब सब डिवायडेड ॲज अनवॉन्डेड गेजेस वॉन्डेड गेजेस अँड फॉईल टाईप गेजेस सो स्ट्रेन गेज द स्ट्रेन गेज सिलेक्शन क्रायटेरिया इज वन इज ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर वन इज नेचर ऑफ स्ट्रेन अँड वन इज स्टॅबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट सो दीज आर सम सिलेक्शन क्रायटेरियाज ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेजेस सो ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इन वेदर इट इज चेंजिंग टेम्परेचर और इट इज कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर इन द मेजरमेंट एरिया सेकंड वन इज स्ट्रेन वॉट कैंड ऑफ स्ट्रेन इज गोइंग टू डेवलप एंड स्टेबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स वॉट आर द स्टेबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो दीज आर द सिलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेजेस सो दिस इज अनवॉन्टेड स्ट्रेन गेज ओके सो स्ट्रेचिंग ऑफ वायर डिपेंड्स ऑन एप्लाइड फोर्स सो वेन वे अप्लाय फोर्स टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड प्लेट द वायर विल गेट स्ट्रेच्ड ओके so this stretching of wire depends on applied force so this is unbonded type of strain gauge now bonded type of strain gauge is nothing but wire grade is bonded with cement so wire is there and wire is bonded with cement biomedical structural mechanical industrial fields so these are the applications of bonded strain gauge biomedical structural mechanical industrial fields so these are available in square rectangular circular and spiral shape two leads for external connections so for measurement of output we need require two leads for external connections and fixed on measuring spot with adhesive so suppose we want to measure displacement of any rod in utm machine so we'll fix on that measuring spot with adhesive this strain gauge okay so this is wire type of strain gauge i have shown here so here you can see so this is wire grid is shown inside this okay so this is wire grid this is also called as gauge wire and it is placed in gauge backing it is supported with one gauge backing it is some insulating material is provided and these two leads are taken for external measurements so here the sensing axis is this is the sensing axis okay on this vertical axis only we can sense the force or any other parameter along this transfer axis we cannot measure anything okay so this is transfer axis which is not sensible only you can sense vertical axis or it is you can see that in the direction of wire wire grid suppose your wire grid is something like this you can sense like this only you cannot sense like this okay you should remember this and for spiral type something like this wire grid is provided okay it is spiral type now third type is strain gauge rosset so more than two gauges for biaxial stress measurement are used so if we want measure biaxial stresses then we use two strain gauges two or more than two we can use actually sorry so here this is 120 degree rosset type okay so here three strain gauges are used okay in 120 degree angles or you can use this conical type also conical type strain gauges for measurement of biaxial stresses okay so something like this diagram is shown strain gauge rosset more than 2 gauges are used for biaxial stress measurement now next is foil gauges formed from sheets having thickness 0.002 0.005 so the sheets are very thin its thickness is 0.002 to 0.005 mm so very thin sheets and and such a gauges are called as foil gauges okay so now the strain gauge has some gauge factor so formula of gauge factor is delta r upon r divided by strain so gauge factor is equal to delta r upon r upon strain so in this case delta r is nothing but change in resistance 
ओके गेज फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू इफ इट इज नॉट विजिबल डेल्टा आर अपॉन आर अपॉन स्ट्रेन ओके सो आर इज नथिंग बट ओरिजिनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेज वायर सो आर इज ओरिजिनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेज वायर एंड डेल्टा आर इज चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दैट वायर ओके एंड स्ट्रेन इज इनपुट सो वट इज द गेज फैक्टर फॉर वन स्ट्रेन चेंज वट इज द चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फ्रैक्शनल चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस पर यूनिट स्ट्रेन सो इट इज डिफाइन एज एक्चुअली फ्रैक्शनल फ्रैक्शनल चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस फ्रैक्शनल मीन्स वॉट डेल्टा आर अपॉन आर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज फ्रैक्शनल चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस पर यूनिट स्ट्रेन सो फॉर वन यूनिट स्ट्रेन वट इज द चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज गेज फैक्टर सो नाउ विल सी स्ट्रेन गेज वर्किंग सो हियर स्ट्रेन गेज इज फिटेड इन विट स्टोन टाइप ब्रिज सर्किट सो विट स्टोन टाइप ब्रिज सर्किट हैज फोर आर्म्स आर वन आर टू आर थ्री एंड आर फोर सो एट द प्लेस ऑफ आर फोर वे आर फिटेड स्ट्रेन गेज एंड एवरीथिंग इज इट इज ऑपरेटेड विद दिस पावर सप्लाई सो पावर सप्लाई इज गिवन एंड वॉट एवर वोल्टेज इज जनरेटेड इट इज जनरेटेड इन दिस वोल्ट मीटर ओके सो लाइक दिस दिस विट स्टोन टाइप ब्रिज सर्किट वर्क सो यू रिमेंबर दिस टेम दैट इज विट स्टोन विट स्टोन ब्रिज सर्किट सो दिस ब्रिज सर्किट इज यूजफुल फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ स्टेन गेज सो हियर वन डायग्राम इज शोन सो हियर दिस इज टेस्ट स्पेसिमन यू कैन से दैट इट इज कैंडिलर बीम एंड फोर्स इज एप्लाइड ऑन दैट बीम एंड टू स्टेन गेज आर फिटेड स्टेन गेज वन एंड स्टेन गेज टू एंड द कनेक्शन आर मेड इन दिस ब्रिज सर्किट here it is 1 and here it is 2 okay so when force is applied this bridge circuit gets unbalanced and because of this it produces voltage in the voltmeter some voltage is produced in the voltmeter which is proportional to this strain in this beam whatever strain is generated in this beam it is proportional to this voltage output okay so like this strain gauge works now here strain gauge circuits are shown so this is first circuit this is called as quarter bridge strain gauge circuit so when strain gauge only one strain gauge is used and it is attached in only one arm then it is called as quarter bridge circuit so out of four only one strain gauge is used that's why it is called as quarter bridge circuit one fourth now second one this is half bridge strain circuit so here half portion of bridge circuit is used means there are two strain gauges are used two out of four arms are used that's why it is called as half bridge strain st gauge circuit and this is full bridge strain circuit because all the four arms are used here for strain gauge that's why it is called as four full bridge strain gauge circuit okay so whatever wire is used in the strain gauge so this is wire is of metal so this metal wire affects because of temperature change because of temperature change resistance of this wire increases okay and therefore there is effect on output of the gauge okay so strain gauge should only respond to change in strain what is our aim the strain gauge should respond to only change in strain if you apply force strain produces and strain gauge should show output this is our requirement but sometimes what happen strain gauge material as well as specimen responds to change in temperature okay and it attempts to minimize temperature sensitivity and because of this what happens temperature sensitivity get reduced so now what we have to we have to compensate this temperature we have to reduce this effect of temperature okay so what what is done here there are two strain gauges are used now one is used in active direction means in the same direction where we are applying force and second is used in inactive direction it is called as dummy gauge okay so when we will apply force when we will apply force what will happen this strain gauge will show change in resistance okay delta r but this inactive will not show any resistance change because of force this force 
okay when we will apply force the active will show only change in resistance but inactive will not show any change in resistance okay that's why it is called as dummy gauge now you see temperature change in environment affects strain measurement okay for compensation we are using dummy gauge temperature change causes resistance change in both by same amount now what happens you check here when temperature changes both the wire has same change in resistance delta r delta r both side so both has change same change in resistance delta r and delta r so that's why it will